Hi and welcome to the session. Let's work out the following question. The question says, the resultant of forces vector P and vector Q acting at a particle is vector R. If vector Q is doubled, vector R is doubled. If vector Q is reversed, vector R is again doubled. Prove that P is to Q is to R is equal to square root of 2 is to square root of 3 is to square root of 2. So, let us start with the solution to this question. First of all, let the angle between two forces P and Q be theta. Since R is resultant of P and Q, therefore R square is equal to P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos theta and this we call equation 1. Now in the question it's given that if Q is doubled, then R is also doubled. So we will have 2R the whole square is equal to P square plus 2Q the whole square plus 2P into 2Q into cos theta. This implies 4R square is equal to P square plus 4Q square plus 4PQ cos theta and this we call equation 2. Now it's also given that if Q is reversed, R is again doubled. So we will have now 2R the whole square is equal to P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos pi minus theta. This implies that 4R square is equal to P square plus Q square minus 2PQ cos theta. And this we call equation 3. Now adding equation 1 and equation 3, we get 5R square is equal to 2P square plus 2Q square. And this we call equation 4. Now from equation 1, if we multiply this equation by 2, we have 2R square is equal to 2P square plus 2Q square plus 4PQ cos theta. And this we call equation 5. Now subtracting equation 5 from equation 2, that is equation 2 minus equation 5 will give us 4R square is equal to P square plus 4Q square plus 4PQ cos theta. Equation 5 is 2R square is equal to 2P square plus 2Q square plus 4PQ cos theta. Now subtracting them, we get 2R square is equal to minus P square plus 2q square. This is 0. Now, rewriting equation 4 and equation 6. This is equation 6. We have 2p square plus 2q square minus 5r square equals to 0 and p square minus 2q square plus 2r square is equal to 0. We call this equation 7 and we call this equation 8. Now solving equation 7 and equation 8 by cross multiplication, we have p square divided by 4 minus 10 is equal to q square divided by minus 5 minus 4 is equal to r square divided by minus 4 minus 2. This implies p square by minus 6 is equal to q square upon minus 9 is equal to r square upon minus 6. Now multiplying throughout by minus 3, we get p squared by 2 is equal to q squared by 3 is equal to r squared by 2. This implies p by square root 2 is equal to q by square root 3 is equal to r by square root 2. This implies that p is to q is to r is equal to root 2 is to root 3 is to root 2. Now this is what we were supposed to prove in this question. I hope that you understood the solution and enjoyed the session. Have a good day.